we were, today we are looking at what I've called fighting spirit. And we start with a song. I have seen, seen the downfall of Satan. Glory be to God. Glory be to Jesus. I have seen, seen the downfall of Satan. Glory be to God. Amen. When I look at my right, I see Satan as falling. When I look at my left, I see Satan as falling. When I look at my front, I see Satan as falling. When I look at my back, I see Satan as falling. I have seen, seen the downfall of Satan. Glory be to God. Glory be to Jesus. I have seen. Seen the downfall of Satan. Glory be to God. Amen. That is God's intention for us to be able to overcome. Because whether we like it or not, God trusts us into the battlefront. But he also equips us. And that's why we're looking at the fighting techniques. Because he, has, he, has, he teaches my hands to war so that the, a, a bow is broken by my hands. So God has empowered us because he's putting us in the battlefront. Psalm 144, verse 1. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hand for war, my fingers for battle. You know, And this is because, the reason why he's training us is because the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds. So our duty is to pull down strongholds, strongholds of Satan. Casting out arguments and every item that is altered is how we get the knowledge of Christ, bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Some of the battle is in the mind our own minds and in the minds of people. And we need to cast those things down so that people will come to the knowledge of Christ. So we need to be involved in this war, you know. And that is why God has equipped us, you know, with different weapons that we need to use. And we need to deploy these weapons, you know, in terms of warfare. And let's bear in mind, the enemy that we are fighting is not a physical enemy. I know sometimes you can have war break out, you know, and where you have nations fight against nation, or even a civil war, and you need to put down the insurrection. But let's bear in mind that a lot of it is very spiritual. We can make a difference in terms of the spiritual. So our enemy is spiritual. We do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but we wrestle against principalities, against powers, the rulers of the darkness of this age, spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. And let's bear in mind, God has given us the equipment. He has taught our hands to fight and our fingers to walk. We need to go on, deploy ourselves into the battle, and you know, enforce the victory that Christ has already won on Calvary, particularly on our knees.